Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjaleyamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 5.2, Terminologies in the Formation of Steam. This is the lecture le, Formation of Steam from Ice to Superheated Steam and the process discuss pannu. In the lecture le, various terminologies. So, number in the lecture la the sensible heat, latent heat, wet steam, dry steam and superheated steam. The learning outcome to the lecture. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to define sensible heat and latent heat, define wet steam, dry steam and superheated steam, define degree of superheat and heat of superheat. So, first terminologies. First terminology is sensible heat of ice. In the diagram of the aircraft, temperature versus heat addition or temperature versus enthalpy diagram, formation of steam is the Rombo Mukiamana diagram to understand the basics. So, A to B, to revise, A to B is sensible heat of ice, B to C, it is fusion or melting of ice into water, C to D. It is heat of water, heating the water from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius. D to E, it is evaporation process, converting water into steam. And E to F, it is superheating of steam. First is sensible heat of ice. A to B is the sensible heat of ice. What is the definition? You know, the definition is the amount of heat required per unit mass of ice to raise its temperature from the given temperature to saturation temperature or melting, tem or melting temperature at a given pressure is called as sensible heat of ice. So, the given temperature minus 10 degree Celsius of ice, saturation temperature is 0 degree Celsius at atmospheric pressure. So, the amount of heat required to raise this ice from given temperature to saturation temperature is the sensible heat of ice. Then melting or fusion temperature. So, the temperature at which ice starts to melt at constant pressure is called as melting temperature of the ice. At atmospheric pressure, the melting temperature or fusion temperature is 0 degree Celsius. So, 0 degree Celsius point B is the melting temperature or fusion temperature. Latent heat of fusion. So, latent heat of fusion B to C, the amount of heat required to completely convert unit mass of ice from and at the saturation temperature, from and at the saturation temperature into water at constant pressure is called as latent heat of fusion. So, B to C is the latent heat from 0 degree Celsius at 0 degree Celsius, from and at the saturation temperature. So, the reverse process is called as solidification. So, B to C is the melting and the C to B is the solidification or freezing. Then freezing or solidification temperature, the temperature at which the water starts to become ice, water starts to solidify, water starts to freeze on cooling at the constant pressure is called as freezing or solidification temperature. So, C is the solidification temperature, B is the melting temperature, C is the solidification temperature. So, the reverse process, C to B, the reverse process is the solidification process. Sensible heat of water. The amount of heat required to heat water at constant pressure from the given temperature to its saturation temperature is called a sensible heat of water. So, C to D is a sensible heat. So, in given this 0 degree Celsius and the 100 degree Celsius. But to any temperature, 40 degree Celsius, 50 degree Celsius, any temperature, so it is called as sensible heat of water. Heating water, the amount of heat required for heating water is the sensible heat of water. Boiling temperature, the temperature at which the water starts to vaporize at given pressure is called as boiling temperature. So, at the atmospheric pressure, the boiling temperature of water is 100 degree Celsius. So, D is the boiling temperature. So, D is 100 degree Celsius at atmospheric pressure. So, this is the boiling temperature. If you know, D point D is the water starts to evaporate. So, point at which the water starts to evaporate is the boiling temperature or boiling point. Subcooled or compressed water. So, the water at a temperature less than the saturation temperature 
at the given pressure is called a subcooled or compressed water. So, this is the saturation temperature. So, the boiling temperature is the saturation temperature. That is the key of temperature and the water is subcooled water or compressed water. The latter heat of vaporization. So, latter heat of the, so vap, vaporization is liquid into vapor. Converting liquid into vapor is vaporization. The amount of heat required for converting liquid into vapor is called as latter heat of vaporization. The amount of heat required to completely convert unit mass of water from and at the saturation temperature into steam at the constant pressure is called as latent heat of vaporization. The reverse process is called as condensation. So, D to E is the vaporization, E to D is the condensation process. Converting vapor into liquid is the condensation process. Then wet steam. So, if a D to E, D it is saturation liquid, E it is saturated vapor. In between we have the wet steam. Wet steam, it is a mixture of steam and water particle is called as wet steam. The mixture of steam and water particle is called as wet steam. The quality of wet steam is given by the dryness fraction x. So, x equal to mg divided by mg plus mf. So, mg is the mass of the dry steam, mf is the mass of the water particle present in the steam. Dry saturated steam, point E is the dry saturated steam. Dry saturated steam, the steam without any water particle is called as dry and the saturated steam. Superheated steam, when the steam is heated beyond the dry saturated condition, then the steam is called as superheated steam. So, E capro, E to F, it is superheated steam. The steam available above its saturation temperature is called as superheated steam. The temperature of superheated steam is denoted by T, which is always greater than the saturation temperature Ts. So, Ts is the saturation temperature, T is the temperature of the superheated steam, always in the problem solving. Next, degree of superheat. The temperature difference between superheated steam, superheated temperature and the saturation temperature is called as degree of superheat. So, degree of superheat equal T, capital T minus capital Ts. T is the temperature of the superheated steam, Ts is the temperature of the saturated steam. Then heat of superheat, the amount of heat required to convert in unit, unit mass of dry saturated steam into superheated steam at a given pressure is called as heat of superheat. So, heat of superheat equal to Cp into T minus Ts. So, Cp is the specific heat of the steam. The value kudukla, pravalatha kudukla naka, we can assume 2.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So, degree of superheat, heat of superheat. So, in the diagram, you have to understand clearly, you have to remember all the terminology. Sensible heat of ice, boiling temperature, I mean uh, melting temperature, latent heat of fusion, freezing temperature, C is the freezing temperature, freezing point, B is the melting point, then sensible heat of water, so D is the boiling point. D to E is the latent heat of evaporation or evaporation process. E to D is the condensation process. D ku, E ku yedayla ullla steam and the wet steam. E is the dry saturated steam. E ka apro, E to F is the superheated steam. Superheated steam la the, we have degree of superheat and heat of superheat. In the terminology full la, Fundamental. You can solve any problem in the properties of steam. So, we stop here. Thank you for watching. If you have doubt, you can WhatsApp number message. We will answer to the question. We will meet again in the next lecture to discuss the properties of steam. So, that is the problem. Solve.